What is going on, people? It is Aves Reviews here. Back at you with another stream. Uh, I don't even know why I'm talking like that. I need to freaking stop. Wow, I just realized I didn't even have a stream pulled up with my second monitor. Probably should have done that. But anyways, we have a guest here. Yeah, I'm doing a collaboration with my freaking cat because I tried getting my cat out of my freaking way to do this stream, but she kept jumping up in my freaking lap and it was annoying. Come here. I love you. Although I love my cat, she needs to stop freaking with me. Anyway, now I gotta do uh, that. There, of course, I'm gonna get some pop-ups. Thank you very much. I love pop-ups. You know, just the greatest thing. No, I don't want a new internet site. Frick off. All right. Um. Wow, we just had a wonderful start. Aren't, 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 yeah, there are, aren't we? Anyway, um, we got some people in the chat. I'm gonna say hi to everyone, like I do. In every other stream, I should... Okay, that's already muted. There we go. Okay. Hello, Lego Melons 15 That's a really creative username. I actually like that. Hello, GP Animation. Hello, Badger Amazing Product... Wow, these are some really creative names. Hello, Andrew Pollard. Shut up, cat! Oh, so now, oh, so now, you, now you're gonna get triggered that I freaking uh, got you out of my lap, and now you're gonna claw the carpet. Okay. Um... Where was I even? Um, hello. Uh, Kaylin Caleb, why not? Um, hello. Dir Dirax plays. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Anyways, if the stream works correctly, which if I didn't, I am going to be very not happy. Um. There should be in the description of like actually yeah you guys can just let me know let me know if I'm wrong on this but in the description there should be like a list of questions and answers um hello power of L uh, so if there isn't a list of question and answers let me know in the chat but if you do see it tell me that so yeah just just say yes or no is there questions or not just say yes or no there we go just yes or no question uh, Let me see how it caught up the stream is. Okay, it's pretty caught up. There isn't any questions. No list. Okay, I'll fix that right now. Uh, what is the name of the stream? Because I'm sure YouTube fricks it up like it fricks everything else up. Alright, I need to calm down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure YouTube fricked up the stream again. Uh, like, there's been this problem. Chills. Okay, there we go. Okay, I just typed up a whole freaking. It's still called Chill Sun. Okay, there's been this problem recently with streaming where I'd put out a live stream and like it would like send me the wrong link. So I would not know what you guys see. So the, what I called it was first stream in a while. But for you guys, it says Chill Sunday stream. So I need to fix that right now. Um, it sucks. I need to get that problem fixed because. It's frustrating. Now I have the right link. Now I can control what you guys see. Um, so yeah, even though it's too, I literally just explained why it says that. Why is everyone say I literally just explained that, but okay then. Um, okay, now let me fix the description. Because YouTube's gonna frick it up. Alright. So I... Basically what I did was I put like a frequently asked question Frequently asked questions part So I wouldn't just be answering the same questions every stream. So from now on Before you ask a question, you'll probably want to look at that section if it's already answered I'm gonna skip that question if you ask it in the chat and Obviously if you look at it, you can see the answer. So I'd win-win, but anyway, let me type this up again uh, I just thought of a few questions off the top of my head if I see some other uh questions pop up um that i see a lot and then i'll just add them there uh let me type this up real quick uh let's see favorite spongebob episode that'll, that'll be the first one because they get asked that one a lot and uh i'll get to you guys' questions in just one second uh let's see. i'm just gonna type up a few off the top of my head 
Hello, host Greddy. All right, we'll do that one. Favorites. Did you hear Pie Guy hit 50,000 subs? Yeah, guess who was one of the first ones to tweet that out? Avis freaking review. Okay, let's come. Seriously, I was one of the first people. Like this, like when I checked his channel, he literally had like 50,000 and seven subs. So I was probably one of the first ones to tweet it out. So there we go. <laughs> Yeah, congrats to him. I even tweeted it, you know, congrats. Wow, I need to stop with that shameless plug. Anyway, um, we'll go with, uh, thoughts on Little Yellow Book. I did a video a very, very, very long time ago uh, with a friend of mine, Christopher Klaus 123 Uh, by the way, if you hear that background noise, that's my freaking fan. I have, like, this, uh, it's not even, it's, like, air conditioner, it's, it's kind of in a, it's, it, Freaking annoys me every five minutes. Bottom line, it it blows air every five minutes. Uh, and normally when I would do a video, the reason you guys probably I assume you guys don't hear it that well is because I have like these special audio editors that like edit out background noise. Uh, I don't have that on stream, so frick. I I would yell at it to shut up, but it's on obviously in in in. in 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 Rick and in in inanimate object in inanimate object. There we go. That's a that's a hard word to pronounce. Um. Uh. Let's see. No says and dragons. Uh. Let's see. Just one second. I'm almost done with these. And that will be SpongeBob your fired. Sounded like Rick for a couple seconds. I even say Rick and Morty when I'm in the middle of studying. Uh, studying, yeah, studying, there we go. Yeah, something I should definitely do, but I never do. I refuse to study. Um, man, that's probably why my grades suck. Anyway, um, but you know what, Frick stuck. Here's, here's a life lesson, guys. Here's life lessons, life morals from Avis Reviews. Don't frickin' study, because you'll just forget everything the next day. So Frick that. Um, what am I typing? I am typing frequently asked questions for streams just so I'm not answering the same question every stream. I had it, um, oh, that's actually a really good question, host Grandy, and I'll get to that in just one second. I actually really like that question. Um, I had it typed up, but of course, YouTube being YouTube, fricked it up and it didn't save. Um, And last question for now. I'm probably gonna think of some other ones. And then there we go. Okay, save. I see you guys are already asking some really good questions in the chat. This is probably gonna be a really good stream. Um, so let me go ahead and answer some of these questions. All right, you guys have been building these up uh, for a while. So it's studying is overrated. Yeah, I agree. Anyways, uh, the the question that really caught my eye: Do you have a favorite or least favorite review on your channel? Yes, I do. Favorite is, and I don't think I've said this publicly before. I know I've said this privately to like Alpha J. Um, what do you course me? I really like that review. I literally went all out. I watched that episode over like six or seven times. I literally had like three pages of notes on that. And I really like that review. I really like the outcome. I think I put a good amount of effort into that. And yeah, I just like that video. Least favorite, what was that one called? What was missing? That was one of my very early videos and I hate it because like, I didn't even like review it. I just like summarized the episode. Like it, it's terrible. That view, that review is awful. Like if you look at it, it's, it's just a four minute piece of crap. 
and uh, someone in the comments pointed out in the original version of a video, apparently I had like two minutes of like orange screen for some reason, I don't know. I didn't even notice until they pointed it out and then I when YouTube's crappy audio, not audio, uh, freaking video editor and I cut that out and of course I'm gonna get linked to something weird. Anyway, um, all right, let's take a look. What's your least favorite face in SpongeBob? Definitely the one in Who Bob What Pants. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um. What kind of drugs am I taking? Um. What do you think about Be Cool Scooby Doo and Wabbit? Haven't seen either. Home Monitor versus Patrick Man. That's actually going to be my next grossing comparison after uh, the Christmas specials, which is coming out. I'm going to aim for Thursday or Friday. I'm going to try to get that video out. I've been working really hard on it, and I'm going to actually record the audio today. Probably edit, edit the audio today. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try to get that video out by, like, Thursday or Friday. What's your least favorite Teen Titans Go episode? Probably Power Moves. Power Moves or the Season 4 episode. What was that one? The one I reviewed. Uh, Shrimps and Prime Ribs. That one was pretty awful, too. And... I did technically review Power Moves. If you guys haven't seen it, I did a collaboration a while back ago with the Alpha J Show where we reviewed Power Moves. So I technically did review my least favorite Teen Titans Go episode. And then my second would probably be Shrimps and Prime Ribs, which I also reviewed. So there you go. You can check out those videos. Um, what's your most forgettable SP episode. I should actually add that to my most frequently asked questions because I get to answer that a lot. But the answer to that is what was that one called? Bucket Sweet Bucket. The only reason it's memorable is because it's forgettable. Like, the, that's the only reason I remember it. Anyways, um, sorry. the answer to that is Bucket Sweet Bucket. Like, I vaguely remember the plot. I, I really only remember the title because it's so freaking forgettable another one which is would definitely be number two is tunnel of glove that one was really forgettable worst episode of powerpuff girls 2016 i've only seen one episode so by default is the best and worst episode i've seen um did you notice any similarities between Gumball the Show and Spongebob? Not really. Aside, I think Gumball and Darwin have kind of like a Patrick and Spongebob relationship in a way, but mm, not really. I see it getting compared a lot, but I kind of disagree with that. Um, best Spongebob Season 9 episode? So far, I have to say Plankton's Pet. Th oh, I already answered that. Uh, let me just remove that. Don't want to see that in the chat. All right. What's your favorite SpongeBob episode from season four and five? And one from, I haven't seen any episodes since season 10 came in, Caleb. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, and I already answered season nine. So season four and five. Favorite from season four is Dunsters and Dragons. Favorite from season five is Roller Cowards. Overall, I'd say Dunsters and Dragons by uh, quite a bit. Uh,. Hey, Avis, is there anything you have reviewed in the past that your opinion has changed on? That is a really good question, and I would probably say, like, in terms of, like, a, a rating, so to speak, like, I either do negative or positive reviews. I've never done a positive review on something that I hate now, and I've never done a negative review on something I like now. That's never been the case. However... I have done things that I don't think are as bad or as good. For example, I don't think SpongeBob Long Pants is as bad. It's it's like not in my bottom five for the season or anything. I think I might have I'm uh, disagree with how much I hated it back then. Um, I'm just scrolling through. Uh, let's see. I'd say. Hmm. That one is the only one that's off the top of my... I'd say maybe Along Came a Sister. I don't like that as much. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, hmm. That's a really good question, though. I really like that question. I think I like... Okay, this isn't really technically review. This is a, a debate 
but I did a debate a while ago with my friend Hydroflash. You can go check out the video. It's on my channel. I posted it a few months ago. Um, and I debated Frozen Face Off. He didn't like it, and I liked it. And I think I like Frozen Face Off a little bit more than I did in that debate. Um, Picture Perfect. I like I like that a little bit less. Yeah, there's nothing I like disagree with, but there's stuff that I've like lowered my places on how good or how bad it is. Um. What's the most underrated TV show in your opinion? I should actually add that to my thing because I do get asked that question quite a bit. Um, but most underrated, um, probably Harvey Beaks. I, I don't see too many people talking about it, but I think it is genuinely the best Nick show. I think it's better than Loud House, which to an extent isn't a popular opinion. To an extent it isn't, but I just love that show. <laughs> So there you go. Thoughts on Pest of the West? It's a pretty bland and cliche special. Also, the idiot friends thing was completely stupid. Um, what do you think about season nine? I have a video, uh, actually a discussion. I'm not going to say who I'm going to do it with, but I have a discussion coming up when the season ends about my final opinions on the season so you can look forward to that do you like the we are number one meme i've actually never like i'm not really into that what are your thoughts on squid baby one of the worst season on episodes that's stuttering though uh let's see also do you have at least i don't know i need to answer that Thoughts on Rick and Morty? It's really good. It's probably one of the best modern cartoons. Thoughts on Squid Baby? Are into that? I'm really behind on these because I spent forever um, typing all these freaking uh, thing. Um, let's see. Best modern spoof up season? I'd have to say season four. I, I really like that one. I see a few people saying season five. Most people say season nine, but I just got to say season four, which I probably am going to have a scoring comparison between four and five coming out probably sometime next year it's it's gonna be a, a long one because it already takes me like a week or so to do a square comparison between two episodes but two seasons with like 40 episodes each yeah that's gonna take months <laughs> um which least favorite cartoon that everyone likes okay i, I don't think i like I don't think I hate a show that everyone likes, but a show that everyone likes that I like less than everyone, if, if that makes sense. Um, mm, that's a hard one. I honestly really don't know. Maybe like Dragon Ball Super because everyone loves that. Maybe they're just biased anime fans. I'd probably say Dragon Ball Super. But I haven't seen, I've only seen like eight or nine episodes. I dropped off because it wasn't too interesting, in my opinion. Hey, oh, I already answered that. Uh, do you like Patrick the Game? For some reason, everyone hates that episode. I don't really like, I haven't seen anyone like go in detail with why it's bad. I like it. I actually think the episode's genuinely funny. And I like the use of Scored in the episode because he does act like a big jerk. But he does, like, he is really jerky. He's pretty mean to uh, Patrick. He even, like, beats up Patrick in the end. And uh, I think his he gets comeuppance in the end, and it's, it's well-deserved. I don't think it's, like, a great episode. I don't think it's one of the best of the season. But I do genuinely enjoy it. Is modern season four? Okay. I see a lot of people debating this in the chat. And here's something you guys got to understand. And this is something 
to an extent I agree with and to an extent I disagree with because I also use the term modern the community seems to have their own definition of like everyone has their own definition of modern some people think it's just season 9 which technically if we are going with the definition of the term modern yes it's season 9 some people think it's 4 onwards some people think it's 5 onwards some people think it's 6 onwards some people think it's 6, 7, and 8 which is my personal opinion modern is just a blanket term that means bad spongebob or like new or how do i put this like when the show started to go downhill i'll say um it's a blanket term don't take someone saying like when someone says modern don't take the term modern and think they're literally meaning like season 9 or season 10 uh just consider it like bad spongebob or when the show was going downhill that's basically what i do um, have you seen Loud House 11 Louds a Leap? I have not seen it. What do you think of Sandy these days? She's alright. Um, Fishbowl, pretty awful appearance. Um, there's Sandy Nut, Nut Shack, <laughs> Nut Shack, there we go, Sandy's in the Nut Shack, no. Sandy's, um, what was that one called? Sandy's Nut Dream, Nutmare? I think it's called Sandy's Nutmare, I believe. Uh, she, she's alright. Yeah, everyone, yeah, I'm seeing everyone's having their own definition of modern. Uh. Like, if, if we're going by the definition of the word, though, technically it'd be, like, season 9 and 10. But if we're going, like, bad or worse, yeah, everyone has their own opinion on that. Um. Have you seen Invaders? I've seen, like, one or two episodes of Invader Zim. Uh, do you think they should have re they should reincarnate Merman and Barnacle Boy? Since Merman's voice actor passed away, I don't think so. Do the cru I I just said it in this little stream that I'm doing that video. Um, what's your opinion on Back to the Past? Unpopular opinion. I really don't like that episode. I don't think it's like the worst of season seven. I I think One Course Meal and Yours Mine and Mine are worse, but um. Pie Guy Rules did a really, really, really good review on that. I think it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, reviews he's done in his entire, every episode of Spongebob, seasons 1 through 8. Uh, so I recommend checking that out. He goes really in detail. He makes some very good points that I'm sure even if I did like the episode, they'd be hard to argue. So I recommend checking that out. If an episode is forgettable, is it bad to you? It depends on the episode. If it's, like, so boring that I just don't want to watch it, then yeah, I'd consider it bad. If it's just, like, okay, characters are relatively likable, the plot is decent enough, you know, maybe there's one or two gags I like, but there isn't anything that makes it memorable, I'll consider it okay. Um, have you heard of the gumball bootleg? No, I've not. My favorite reviewer. Who's your favorite reviewer? Have you seen BoJack Horseman? It's on my list, but no, I haven't. Best adult cartoon ever, Rick and Morty. I don't know ever, but it's definitely the best one right now. <laughs> um, what's your favorite? What is your favorite best season? Favorite best season. Okay, <laughs> no seriousness. Um, if you mean like of SpongeBob. The entire show, not just modern. Uh, I'd have to say season two. Any Loud House episodes you dislike? I don't think there's any specifically bad ones, but yeah. I love Picture Perfect. I like the episode, but I don't like I don't like it as much as I did in my review. Um I think I like the Sons of Silence at least. Somebody watch my Q and A video, Mr. Caden and Caleb. Most underrated SpongeBob episode. Uh probably Crab Crabby Road. Uh, probably that one. Hi, hello, Christopher Clowns one two three. Uh, can you please do a more in-depth video? Uh, let's see. Can you discuss why Uncle Grandpa is a debatable show? I said that a while ago. My Uncle Grandpa was review, so I definitely see where it's coming. Wow, a lot of spit just came out of my mouth. That was disgusting. Um, I, okay, I, I need to like leave the room. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, that will be coming out sometime in January. Sorry for stalling on that. I just, I've been very busy with, uh, December videos, 
uh, top five best SpongeBob season five shorts. You know, my internet's been fricking around. Uh, so let's see, I did the Uncle Grandpa one. Uh, I was supposed to like get one out like around the time of the 1,000 subscriber special, which is like three weeks ago. Yeah, sorry for delaying that. That'll definitely come out sometime in January. Uh, Artist Unknown is quite an underrated episode. I agree. I really like it. Um, how about an overrated SpongeBob episode? Chocolate with the nuts. Um, that's really overrated. I just don't find the episode as funny as most people. That's the short of it. Um, back to the past. Have you seen the snail? A lot of the specials. Um, my least favorite is April Fool's Rules. Uh, what show is that from? Is that from Loud House? Hey, Torch Sheep! Hi, Torch Sheep! Okay, um... Okay, let me put you as moderator, dude. I didn't know you were in this chat. I just noticed that. I was scrolling up. Dude, there's like a wall of freaking comments. Or, uh... What's it called? Uh, freaking... Uh... What's it called? Uh... Chat messages. And I just saw my boy Torch Sheep. So, hello. How's it going? Everyone say hi to Torch Sheep. Um... There are, are only two bad episodes. The Loud House, I think, are bad. Is the Greenhouse and Snowboard? I haven't seen any either of these. Um, how do you? What do you like best? Okay, I'm, I'm assuming which season you think I like the more the most. Uh, season one, two, or three? Uh, season two is my favorite, which I'm gonna put down the frequently asked questions thing. Uh, SpongeBob season. And then that answer is season two. So there we go. My boy Torch Sheep's gonna sneak up on me in the chat. All right. <laughs> uh, do you like a license to milk cake? I think it's okay. It's a completely passable episode, but doesn't do anything that's like out of the bar, all out of the ballpark amazing. Apparently, this is Rick and Morty where I can't freaking talk. But um, what is your opinion on SpongeBob bringing? back great side characters and completely changing them example bubble bass complete i don't think they like completely change bubble bass but i do think it's cool that they bring back characters like bubble bass i said back to the past not test the west one i think season five is better than season four uh that's okay you're allowed to your opinion what is your favorite joke in spongebob let me actually put that because i get asked that one a lot too and it's pinhead larry uh, if you couldn't already tell, you know, from the, the fricker that's wearing the, um, Santa hat. <laughs> yeah, I did a little Santa hat on there because I got bored one day and I was like, frick, why not? <laughs> so, favorite gag in Spongebob. And that's Pinhead Larry. It took me a month to write the script. I mean, it doesn't take me like a month to write the script, but yeah, it takes me a really long time. Uh, cartoons or anime, they have their ups and downs, but I'd say probably Western cartoons. Uh, I love Patrick the Game. I agree. Uh, what do you think about SpongeBob when you were little? Uh, I mean, it was when I was little, I wasn't like really looking at it critically, so you know, I was just biased to call everything good. Um, so. Yeah, obviously, I just pretty much loved every episode. Uh, that's it, anime right now, because Pokemon Indigo. Uh, people, or my friend, Spinky Plays, I don't know if you know him, but he's a YouTuber. I have him on my, like, members of the Pinned Army on my channel. He's been recommending to me the Pokemon X and Y series, and he said it's better than, uh, the, or X and, X, Y, and Z, sorry. And he says it's better than X and Y. Let me know in the chat if you guys agree and think that X, Y, and Z is better than X and Y. Because I've been watching X and, like, there was one point where my internet went down. I had nothing else to do. And I just had a DVD of, like, the first 20 episodes of X and Y. And I was like, frick, I got nothing better to do. So I popped it in, watched it. 
Holy frick, that is amazing. That is one of my favorite Pokemon seasons. X and Y is amazing. So I don't, it would be very hard for X, X Y, and Z to top that because the standards are just so high. Uh, what do you think of executive treatment? Uh, it's one of the better Patrick centered episodes. Why is this chat gone quiet? Uh, I, there's a ton of questions for me. Can you review a SpongeBob season from one, two, three? I mean, there's really nothing to say. It's just the comedy is golden, the characters are likable, and the plots are simple but effective. Um, what's your opinion on Kenny the Cat? It's a really boring episode. Um, season six is when it went downhill hard, in my opinion. What are your opinions on It's a Spongebob Christmas? One of the better season 8 episodes, definitely. Has Patrick been dumber in every episode? Um, I don't think he, like, gets gradually dumber, but he's he, he gets pretty stupid in some of the later ones. Like, season 8 is probably where he's at his worst. Um, season 7 and 6 is really bad, too. Um, I really like Back to the Past, but okay. You're allowed your opinion. What if you and Alpha J had a Civil War? Well, we're... <laughs> That would be very interesting. That probably wouldn't happen because we're really good friends. But that would be really funny if it did. <laughs> um, by my favorite reviewer, I mean you, Avis. Thank you very much. Favorite regular show episode? Um, I haven't seen a regular show in a very, very long time. So I'd have to rewatch the series. But I remember when I did watch it, one of my favorites was always the Death Punch episode. That one was really awesome. Um, when you said Stalling, I thought of the Spongebob movie. When did I say Stalling? Uh, I probably did. Let's see. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi, Twitch Soup. I love it. I love it. There we go. That's great. All right. <laughs> um, wow, these are some really good questions, guys. Good job. Um, do you like Paw Patrol? I haven't seen it. Are there any episodes you feel like sh they should be in seasons one, two, or three? Um, I, I would go through every season and say which episode I feel like should is like the most season one, two, or three-ish. Season four... That's a hard one. Probably, like, Enemy in Law. I, that's a really underrated episode, in my opinion. Season 5, Roller Cowards. That's a very Season 1, 2, 3-esque. Um, season 6, Easily cra No, I'd say I like Krabby Road more, but I think that The Slumber Party feels more like a Season 1 or 2 or 3 episode. Um, season 7, I'd say either Cracked Crabs or, like, Earworm. One of those. Uh, season 8... Uh, definitely Hello Bikini Bottom. That feels very 1, 2, or 3-esque. Um, well, probably not season 1 because they didn't have specials back then, but you know what I mean. Um, season 9, I want to say Safe Deposit Crabs. Maybe Plankton's Pet. No, Patrick Man. Definitely Patrick Man. Uh, what's worse, Modern SpongeBob or Breadwinners? Hands down Breadwinners because find a freaking good episode of Breadwinners. Good episode of Modern Spongebob. Oh, if we're including 4 and 5. even You know what? If we're not even including 4 and 5. Even if we're including the worst season, 6, 7, and 8. We still got It's a Spongebob Christmas. We still got freaking um, Krabby Road. We still got uh, The Abrasive Side. We still got Cracked Crab, Squidward and Clarinet Land. There are good modern episodes. Even though, as a, as a whole, I don't like those seasons. There are still good episodes, and I'll gladly point them out. I made an entire freaking countdown with, like, six honorable mentions. Um, what's your favorite Spongebob meme? Uh, some of the Spongebob ones are kind of funny, although some of them I find kind of annoying, so it's kind of a mix. Um, I like the one where, like, the guy from Ripped Pants just has that straight face, and he says, says like, a really, like, straight, straight man, con like, he, he kind of says something that, like, Squidward would say. Um... I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a really funny meme. Um, after seeing Whirly Brands, I think Summer Job's a lot worse. I have not seen Whirly Brands. Uh, best Summer Job Season 9 episode. I've already answered that. So I think I'm going to put that on my frequently asked questions. But Plankton's Pet. And that's the last time I'm answering that question. Let's see. All right. 
right, how long have we been going on? I want to go for like an hour because I want this to be like a shorter stream because I have a lot of work to do on the, uh, okay, it's been about 35 minutes because I need to do a lot of work on not only the uh, score sing comparison, but I also have to do a Pop Up Girls uh, 2016 reboot. Uh, what the frick is this crap? What is this spam? All right, Murray Man, uh, our hero, Barnacle Boy, you too. Murray Man, crime fighters. Murray Barnacle Boy makes new evil. Evil found its match today. Underwater justice in fair play. Super plan. Garbage can. Minivan. What are you referencing? <laughs> Please tell me what you're referencing, came in Caleb. What's the best joke in Rick and Morty? I really like the like the joke where like Morty's like squeezing uh his teacher's like nipples when he <laughs> in the in like the first episode. That was really funny. Um also the Get Swifty song, that was really good. Have you seen the few episodes of season ten? Do I have not? And I'm gonna add that to frequently asked questions because I'm getting that one quite a bit. So uh I'm just gonna put thoughts on season ten and put I haven't seen an episode. There we go. I like cor culture shock. So do I. What's your favorite meme you put on your video? Oh my god, don't even start with that. Don't even start with that. They're all awful. Uh, any different disagreements with Pie Guy Rolls on SpongeBob episodes? Oh yeah, there's plenty of them. Um, right, I, I agree with most, if not everything. Um... Yeah, I, I pretty much, like, not with, like, the top five, but, like, with ratings, um, I agree with pretty much everything in the season one video. Um, season two, I don't like I'm with Stupid or Grandma's Kisses. I'd give them bads. Season three, I don't like Missing Identity. I'd give that bad. I don't like Ugg or the, Sp or no, not, no, I think Ugg's okay. I agree with him on that one. Uh, I don't like Sponge Who Could Fly. I'd give that one bad. Uh, pre-movie, post-movie, there's too many to list. Karate Star, I'd give bad. Squ uh, Sweet and Sour Squidward, I'd give good. Um, a lot of, like, like, one of the things, I actually disagree. The only seasonal rating that I disagree with is season 8. I'd give that bad. I, I don't think it's a terrible season. I think it's better than 6 and 7. And I think it's somewhat close to okay, somewhere in the ballpark. But... Yeah, I, I there's a lot of disagreements. Just a lot of mez that I'd give bad. Not too many goods I'd give bad. But you know what? He's allowed his opinions, and I have no problem with him disagreeing with me. What is the most overrated adult cartoon? That's a really good question. I have no idea. I was the same about SpongeBob when I was little, Avis. Oh, how ne I know how naive I was. Um, Patty Caper or the Great Patty Caper? I think they're both all right, but I think the pat the great patty caper is a little bit better. The great one. <laughs> um, what do you think would happen? What do you think would? What do you think would have took off if SpongeBob wasn't creative? That is a really really good question. Um, I have no idea. I don't think like probably something we've never seen before. Um. Okay, let me say that in a different way, because Bubble Bass was Spongebob's rival in the episode Pickles you're referring to, um, and now his main traits are being fat and complaining, and he's not really a rival anymore, is what I meant. Well, here's the thing. Bubble Bass in Pickles was, like, the only episode that Bubble Bass was, like, centered around. The only episode he really got a personality in. So I don't really uh, blame the writers for, in, like, season 9 and 10, freaking like, more than 10 years later... They're messing with his character traits a little bit. I don't really blame them that much. What do you want for Christmas? A new phone. Because my my one I have right now is absolute garbage. It is trash. It is awful. It barely freaking does anything. Um, what do you think about Pokemon Sun and Moon? I haven't got that one yet. Uh, I freaking... There we go! Someone in the chat using freaking... I, I'm... We are now Pinhead Brothers. Oh, you even got a... Came and Caleb, you even got your... Uh, Patrick thing. So there we go. You're in the you're in the Aphis squad. Um, 
I freaking love pickles, an underrated episode in my opinion. It's my third favorite along with pizza delivery. It's not in my top five, but it's definitely in like my top ten for the season. Oh, uh, frick, that's a lot of questions. That's so many questions. What, what's better, season seven to eight, or six or seven or eight? Eight's the best. And I'll put that on frequently asked questions because I get asked that one quite a bit. I kind of weirded this one weirdly, but worded the... Worded this one weirdly. There we go. <laughs> I messed it up. There we go. And there we go. By the way, I don't blame you guys for like asking a question and then me adding a year. No, totally not your guys' fault. It's my fault for not thinking of that ahead of time. Um, and it's also a good thing because then I know what questions I need to put there. Who's your favorite reviewer? A tie between Pie Guy Rules and uh, Mr. Enter. Uh, what's your worst episode of Rick and Morty? Uh, What's that one? The Get Swifty episode. Rick Swifty, I think it's called. Something like that. If we get, if we judge SpongeBob critically when we were kids, Nickelodeon wouldn't exist at that point. That's a really good point. Yeah, SpongeBob Christmas is my favorite Sponge or Christmas special ever. Um, okay then. We'll have to see which one I think is better in my squares and comparison coming in a few days. Worst episode of Patrick, in your opinion? Um, yours, mine, and mine, or, no, Pets or Pat, Pets or Pat. What is the best video you've, I, I guess you mean, um, episode. Um, the Harvey BX episode of Comet Night, definitely. Uh, did you see the Lot House Christmas special? No, I did not. What do you think of It's a SpongeBob Christmas? Uh, I think it's really bad. Christmas who dominated now I'll discuss which one I think is better in the uh, Christmas or the the Squirsing comparison but I think both episodes are great uh, I disagree with thinking it's bad but you know what I respect your opinion my favorite Spongebob special is a tie between Dunstan Dragons and Friend or Foe uh, Dunstan Dragons is my favorite but Friend or Foe is definitely up there for me Procrastination or Roller Cowards definitely Roller Cowards um, have you checked out Gumball oh, I already yeah I reviewed I have a gumball review. It's my most recent review, so I recommend checking that out. Uh, Krusty Towers and Mermaid and Monica Boy seven, six, yeah, six. We're supposed to be in season three, but got pushed back to season four. Both those episodes are really, really good, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, one last question for now: Will you ever make podcast? Talk yes, that is a very good question. Me, Alpha J. And we're discussing who someone else is going to be. But me and Alpha J are planning to make a podcast. We're trying to get a third person. We're thinking of some ideas. Uh, we've asked a few people if they want to join. And we're still trying to find a third person. We're, And we're also trying to find time. The biggest problem right now is time. Uh, but the problem is Alpha J has a little brother. And he doesn't want him like interrupting the podcast. So he normally records and talks on Skype and stuff like that around 10 o'clock. Uh, from my understanding, I might get some of this wrong. Um, and 10 o'clock, I have family. I don't want to wake them up. So the difficulty right now is like finding the right time through the podcast. Next week, I have a break. So I will probably have a lot more time. Depending on Alpha J schedule, we got to make sure both of our schedules hook up. Uh, I'll probably have time to discuss, see if we can get the times worked out. Uh, so yeah, podcast is in the work. I'm not sure when it's going to happen. Opinions on As Seen on TV, really underrated episode. It's, it's like number five in my uh, top five for season uh, three. Uh, let's see. Are there any pre-movie SpongeBob episodes that feel like post-movie episodes and vice versa? Yeah, there's a few. I already discussed pre-movie that feel like post-movie, um, which I'll probably add that to frequently asked questions later. I don't feel like doing it right now. Post or pre-movie that feel like post-movie? Mm, I don't feel like there's too many. I think Neptune Spatula and maybe a few others, but not too many. There are some, definitely, though. Ripped Pants Lifeguard. It took me five minutes to write that text, and all you wrote was K. I've seen that meme. That's pretty awesome. 
Uh, what are the top five best and worst things you reviewed so far? In terms of worst, my bottom five for SpongeBob. So there you go. <laughs> so far, for best, the Comet Knight, like I said. Um, uh, Powerpuff Girls versus uh, Teen Titans Go up there. Um, that's a really good one. Uh, what was that one called? What Was Missing is really good. Two Thumbs Down is really good. Um, this is just, I'm just scrolling through my videos and seeing what I reviewed. Um, the DVD, yeah, the DVD is a really good one too. That was one of the best things I ever reviewed. Good question. Really good question. You're referring to Mermaid Man, Mermaid Man, or Mermaid Pants. There we go. I haven't seen that one, so I don't get the reference, but yeah. What's your favorite rock band? I don't really have one. Any bad Modern Swindle episodes that feel like a bad season one, two, or three episode? That's a really, really interesting t question. I'd say maybe aside from like some of the season nine ones, probably not. Uh, what Christmas specials will you be watching this year? Well, obviously, I've watched It's a SpongeBob Christmas and Christmas Who a lot for the squares comparison. I watched them over plenty of times. Uh, not too many other ones. I'll, I might watch the Lot House one. Uh, not too many. Uh, and it was last by my boy Torch Sheep, which, yeah, pretty cool dude. Uh, what do you think of Squid's Defense? Pretty, pretty boring uh, Squidward and minor Squidward torture episode. Not too bad, but minor. Most boring SpongeBob episode, SpongeBob you fired. Bro, put me on the podcast, even though you know how unreliable I am with the schedules. Well, you know what? Toward Sheep, maybe I'll talk to Alpha J. I'll try to get the uh, times worked out. And I still gotta I still gotta ask you about the uh the 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 drugs not no whoa 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 what who said that um I still gotta ask you about the the secret stuff um that we we're, we're we're doing uh torch sheep I don't want to say it on stream because it's kind of a secret but you know what I'm talking about you know the the, the two things that we have planned so uh I gotta hit you up later probably after the stream uh we can discuss that um. Uh, Uh, I already answered that. Uh, season 8 is okay. I respect your opinion. Whoa! 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 We gotta admire that voice crack. Oh, Jesus. You see, when I talk for a long period of time, my voice sounds like you take a hammer to a pipe and, like, slam it. Uh, my voice sounds like crap when I talk for a long period of time. Uh, I need some water. I need some water. But, um... Okay, let's stop cringing at the way that I just said water. But, um... Okay, we got about 10 more minutes of the stream. Uh, that was, whoa, that was one of the most, like, awful voice cracks I've had in my life. I apologize for that. I need some water after the stream. Uh, opinions on I Was a Teenage Gary. You didn't put it in the dishonorable mentions in the top five worst primary episodes. Yeah, I didn't put it in the dishonorable mentions. Do you want to know why? Because it's actually in the list, in all seriousness. Yeah, it was number three on the list. I think it's, I agree with Pie Guy Rules on that one. Uh, overrated video on your channel. Overrated? I don't... Maybe, like... Hmm, that's hard to say. I don't think there's, like, an overrated video on my channel. I can't think of one off the top of my head. Also, I liked your... Oh, yeah, there we go. Top 5 worst premiere episodes. To an extent, that's overrated. Am I in the Avis squad? Well, as long as you sub you're subbed to the Mr. Avis Reviews, you are a, pa a, a part of the Avis Squad. Dude, do I have, like, dyslexia or something? Because I keep freaking up words. Anyway, um... Wait, I'm not allowed to say frick because Spongebob's not a pinhead. <laughs> Super plain. Garbage can. How would you make a Spongebob special slash episode, Avis? That is, like, an entire video right there. And you know what? If you guys want me to make that video as, like, a cartoon discussions or something, let me know in the chat. Say, just say, yes, make that video. And if a lot of people say it, I'll add it to my list. 
Uh, that is really just that is a really big topic. Like if I had the time, I'd go in detail. Do you play Pokemon Go? No, I do not. What's your favorite Nickelodeon sitcom? Definitely Drake and Josh. What do you think of Enter Haters? Most of them are just like they come up with like really stupid arguments. Like there was this one guy who made a video and he's like, uh, Mr. Enter is bad because uh, he screws up crediting people. And it's like, yo, you want to be that nitpicky? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh some of them do bring up like legitimate good criticisms but a lot of them are just blowing smoke uh, have you seen mr enter's new layout in his recent videos yeah and i really like it there's some mistakes like at certain points like his like icon is like hovering and there's some points where it, like just abruptly cuts and like his icon just disappears but I, if they fix those and it's just it's just that's just nitpicking anyway it's just it's not a huge deal um, but yeah, just fix those minor issues and we'll be good in the hood. They reveal the parents' face in Lord House Christmas special. That's really cool. When do you think Pi Guy Rules releases a 9 a video? I have no idea. <laughs> that You'll have to talk to him about that. Uh, what was your first video? It was a channel trailer. Uh, if you scroll down on my videos, you can see it. It's, it's actually no please don't see it because it's an awful video it's terrible um thoughts on married to money mall girl pearl and worldly brains i haven't seen worldly brains mall girl pearl's all right and married to money is really good we have to get back those swollen crabby patties okay i get that reference i get that one okay we got about less than 10 minutes uh, are you gonna review adventure time soon i've already reviewed two episodes so you can go check that out What do you think of The Simpsons? I haven't seen too many episodes, but I was, um, yeah, I haven't seen too many episodes. It really depends on what season, because this show's been on for, like, 28 freaking seasons. But I've seen a few episodes from a few seasons. Who's your favorite Spongebob character? Pre-movie, Patrick. Post-movie, Plankton. Pa, 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 pa. Uh, I Hopefully that's not freaking up the pot filter. Actually, I should get really close to the mic so you guys can hear some really good... What was that? Okay, I just heard a random noise. So you guys can hear some really good, uh, like, audio quality. Okay, anyway. Uh, what's your opinion on Best Frenemies? Really good episode. Or not really good, but good episode. Favorite Gumball episode? You should do Worst Adventure Time episode, because I have seen literally no list on it. The reason is because Adventure Time is freaking awesome. That's why I don't see any lists. Um, if I do, I don't really have any, like, least favorite episodes so far. But you know what? That's actually a really good topic. If nobody's done it, maybe I'll do some research. Maybe I'll marathon the show and see if I can find them. So far, the only episodes I don't like are, like, Dream of Love. I really don't like that episode. Um, favorite Gumball? So far, probably Responsible. Now, Responsible is a better episode than the DVD, which I reviewed. But I, the reason I reviewed the DVD is because the DVD is more interesting to talk about. Like, that review would, like, the Responsible review would not be as good as the DVD review. Um, what was the video you were most proud of? Uh, I already answered that, and that's the one course meal review. What Powerpuff Girls 2016 episode are you reviewing? And what new shows are you airing after that? That's a really good question. I'll answer that right now. Um... Uh, the Pop of Girls 2016 is the first episode. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of it. I'm gonna Google it right now. Uh, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, frick! Fricked up the mic. Fricked up the mic. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um. Let's see. What was the first episode? It. Was, I think it was like the Monster Island episode or something. <laughs> 